by day. 1600 meters. Set. And away they go from the 1600 meter marker. On the inside, Brom Billy with the red blinkers is right there. Plate of Platinum has a good position shortly after the start and Shoes and Company on the right with the white nose band well placed. Which was in the second line with the red and green silks and then comes Day by Day in the pink blinkers. Along the inside of that is Asagai, then comes Caribbean Day and Badge of Choice. And they stretched out about seven or eight lengths as Shoes and Company goes to the lead. In second is Plate of Platinum and then comes Which Var back third. Day by day is on the outside. Brom Billy's at the rail between the two of them is Caribbean Day. Asagai gives him about six lengths start at this stage as they move towards the 700 meter marker. And a choose and company by two. Plate of Platinum is second. Which Var third. Brom Billy's at the rail. Caribbean Day's in the blue and day by day in the pink on the right. Then comes Asagai and Badge of Choice. The top of the lane now, 500 metres to go, and Shoes and Company the leader. Plate of Platinum, the first one to challenge. Towards the outside, which Var. Down the inside, Asagai, Caribbean Day. Shoes and Company still being kept together at the 200 metre marker. Down the inside, Asagai. Towards the outside, which Var. Plate of Platinum, Caribbean Day is trying to get into the race, but Shoes and Company continues to find. And a Shoes and Company, Caribbean Day starts to come well with Asagai. Caribbean Caribbean Day is coming on powerfully and got up. Caribbean Day won at second shoes and company. Third will go to Asagai and close for fourth. Victory for number four, Caribbean Day, son of modern day. Rewarded for consistency, Keegan Namella, Mark Dixon, another one for Mark. This one for Blake Richard. And Kathy Richard, and they end up winning it by about an X. A number four Caribbean day, second win from 11 outings. Second, number one, Shoes and Company, Asagai, number seven, will run third. Fourth position, a good couple of lengths back, and there was a witch fire involved, then Plate of Platinum, and then came Brom Billy. Further back in the field is Badge of Choice, and then it's a good couple of lengths back to the next placed horse which would have been badge of choice. As we look at the Shoes and Company was still in front under that 61 and a half, and Caribbean Day starts to warm up and eventually gets there to win it by about an X. So number four, the winner for Middlefield Stud. That's four, the winner from one, and a race time of 97.29. Number four returns 450 a win, 170 a place. Back to the studio. Caribbean Day has come through and got up where it matters most, right on the winning post. Going to join me in the winner's area, Mark Dixon. Now, breathtaking stuff coming to that last 200. He looked to be unwinding, and that front runner just kicked to go in front. Yes, I know. I felt the same, Sheldon. Yeah, I thought well, it takes him a while to unwind, but he's not going to get there. I thought, well, at least he's, uh, at least he's run a nice race. And then at the last 50, I thought, ah, you know, just, just had a squeak. And, yeah, he did... He, it's a typical modern day, you know, to look at, you think, Oof, you know, he's gangly, he's leggy, he, he looks weak, but uh, quite deceiving. And I think that a lot of them modern days are improved improve late, and I think he's a typical one of them, you know. Nice type of horse back home, is he easy to work with? Yeah, he's always a little bit keen, but not, not, not too bad, no. And I think he will improve and, and go on to win more races, which is great. Congratulations, enjoy the moment. Yeah, thank you, Sheldon. Let's get the winning rider in, Keegan DeMello, jumping aboard Caribbean Day. Now, you rode him very early in his career. He's turned the corner nicely. Yes, um, I must say, Sheldon, he's, he's really turned the corner this horse. You know, I rode him the second time out, I think, at Gravel, and it didn't suit him. He was drawn well in the 1200, too short for him, and it's the first time I've been able to get a back on him. Thanks to, thanks to Mr. Dixon and to Mr. and Mrs. Richards. You know, my first winner for them has been three years, but well done to them. They said you're back on the favourite jockey list, so well done. Yes, that's a good, that's a good start. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Sheldon. Let's get Blake and Kathy Richards into the winner's area. Yeah. Now, this victory is well deserved. Yes, he's a lovely horse, this. And uh, we'd like to thank Rob and Michelle Pickering at Middlefield Stud. And uh, also all the guys at the yard who put in the hard work. Well done. 
Now, chatting to you, you were quite bullish. He opened up one rand fifty on the tote, so some of the guys out there had a lot of all-to-come bets riding on him. Yes, I actually couldn't believe that, but uh, I was a bit worried about uh, which war. And um, we're just grateful that he's won. It's his second win, and uh, we're enjoying our racing. Just a big thank you to all concerned, especially Mark and Haley, Annette Dawes from Highgate, and all the team, all their grooms back home. They do a, a good job for us. And we're having a great time in racing, and we've bought a few on the recent sales, and uh, we look forward to the future. There's a couple of offers abound for him. They've just doubled now? Yeah, I'll bring your money. <laughs> we will talk. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much, Sheldon. Cheers. Well done to all the connections. Number four, Caribbean Day, just chatting to Blake and them beforehand. There was a couple of offers before the race. Now that offer's just doubled after this victory. Caribbean Day, short on the toe, drifted out a little bit, but the value was there.